this is a brief introduction to uh, signed 8-bit integers. Okay, I'm going to talk about signed 8-bit integers over a few videos here. Uh, and here's the, the big idea. So a signed 8-bit integer is a numeral that's 8 digits long. This first digit we're going to reserve for the sign, okay, meaning either positive or negative. We're going to have a 0, meaning that the number is positive. And when it's positive, we just get to read the rest of it. And we're going to have a 1, mean that the number is negative. Uh, and when it's negative, we're not just going to write it one and then the number, we're going to uh, use something called the two's complement to change it around. Now, just a few comments on these integers. Um, computers always have to be told, what are they looking at? So if I tell it this address or this space is an 8-bit integer, 8-bit signed integer, it's just gonna look at these eight digits whatever they are, if they're ones or zeros or whatever, and interpret them, well, interpret, use them uh, to mean a, a signed uh, number. We're going to write these guys in binary. They're bits, they're either zeros or ones, okay? And when I've got a zero at the front, I treat these just like any other binary number. I guess I have to push that to go on. Come on, you can do it. Okay, there we go. So I've got these guys. If this is a zero at the beginning, then I just treat the rest of this number like a binary number. So let's say we had 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So then I know that this is a positive. And then I just interpret the rest of this this is, you know, the ones place, the twos, the fours, the eights, the sixteens, the thirties twos, uh, and the sixty fours. So this is thirty two plus sixteen plus four plus two. That's twenty two. This number is positive fifty four. Okay, when that first digit is a zero, I just treat it like a normal binary numeral, uh, and remembering that it's positive. So let's go the other way. Let's write the 8-bit signed numeral for 82. Basically, all I need to do here is write 82 in binary and then make sure it's 8 digits with the first digit being 0 since it's positive. Uh, we can do that a ton of ways. Let's do this one. 82 divided by 2 is 41, uh, remainder 0. 41 divided by 2 is 20, remainder 1. 20 divided by 2 is 10, remainder 0. 10 divided by 2 is 5, remainder 0. 5 divided by 2 is 2, remainder 1. Divided by 2 is 1, remainder 0. Divided by 2 is 0, remainder 1. So starting at the bottom, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places already. So it's an 8-bit signed integer, 0 for the sign, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 1, 0. There is how I write 82 is an 8-bit signed uh, integer. Okay, let's just do one more positive one. Let's write the 8-bit signed numeral for 120. Okay, 120. Uh, this time, let's use that other kind of shortcut method since the number's not too big. So once twos, fours, eights, sixteens, thirty seconds, uh, sixty fours. So there's definitely one sixty four here. One twenty minus sixty four. I'm thinking in my head. I'm actually writing it down, but uh, it's six eleven. It's fifty six. Uh, so I need a thirty two. 
56 minus 32 gives me a 4, gives me a 2. Uh, so I need a 16, gives me an 8. So I need an 8, no 4s, no 2s, no 1s. Here's the 7 bit digit numeral. And again, to make this an 8 bit signed, I need to put a 0 at the front to indicate that this guy was positive. Okay. Next video I would watch would be the one on twos complements, just finding the twos complements of a numeral.